Hello, Baseball Nation, and yet again, welcome back into our Team Predictions and Preview Series. So, in the leadoff spot for this Cubs team, they're going to have older guy, Rafael Ortega, going to be about 31 around the time the season is. And Ortega really broke out at the end of last year. I wouldn't expect too much from him coming forward this year, but I think he'll be able to provide about a league average play. <clears throat> In the two-hole, first baseman Frank Schwindel. He's going to be able to provide some pop and some contact with the bat. And over at first, that's what you're looking for. In the three-hole, he was expected to be traded, but probably not anymore. Catcher Wilson Contreras can hit and he can field. Wilson Contreras is going to be the best player for this team. In the four-hole, Ian Happ, switch hitter. Ian Happ can play. Ian Happ is a great hitter from both sides. And Happ is going to be one of the other best players for this team. In the five-hole, right fielder Seiya Suzuki out of Japan. They're going to be paying him a good bit because of the posting fees to get him out of Japan. But Seiya Suzuki can play. He is expected to be one of the best guys ever to come from J Japan. And in the six-hole, DH Patrick Wisdom. Wisdom has a lot of pop but struggles with the strikeouts. That has been a big problem with it for with him as he had a 40% strikeout rate last year. In the seven hole playing third base, Jonathan VR. Good switch hitter for this team, and he's gonna be a good guy to have in the lineup. In the eight hole shortstop, Angelton Simmons gonna provide absolute lockdown defense, but almost nothing with the bat. In the nine hole, second baseman Nick Madrigal who's going to provide a 300 to 320 batting average, but almost nothing in terms of pop. On the bench, they actually have a pretty solid bench with catcher Jan Gomes, infielder and outfielder utility player Nico Horner, and then a couple outfielders in Clint Frazier and Jason Hayward. Let's go to the rotation for this squad. And the top three are not going to be bad, especially their top guy, Marcus Stroman. Stroman is going to be able to provide very exceptional pitching on the mound, but he's not backed up by great players. As we have Kyle Hendricks, who's got really good command but struggles with velo, and then Wade Miley, who's getting old, and he got basically released by the Reds. Miley's going to be okay, and he'll be an okay third starter for this team. The four and five starters is where this team really falls off with Alec Mills and Drew Smiley. Neither of them are going to be able to amount to much this season. Let's go to their bullpen. They have guys like David Robertson, Stephen Brault, Daniel Norris, and Rowan Wick and David Robertson and Michael Givens are all projected to kind of share that closer role. So it's a pretty good pen, but not really much to be scared of. Overall, it's really tough to see what this team's doing based on their signings, but my best guess at this record would be a 73-89 and 89 team with definitely improvement coming in the future.